It's the late 90s. You make some dumb choices. You get charged with robbing a subway. You spend four years in prison. It's 1995. Your friends rob a KFC. You drive the getaway car. Four years in jail. 22 years ago, you fell in with the wrong crowd. Drug charges. 11 years in jail. That was then. Now, you're a pastor at a church. Today, you run a successful foreign business. You run a nonprofit organization helping former prisoners and their families. You've paid your dues. You've made amends. Now, you want to have a voice in the world. But you live in Florida. The Sunshine State is one of only four states that permanently bars felons from casting a ballot. And there are 1.7 estimated million people there who were disenfranchised due to a prior felony conviction. Over 10% of adults in the state cannot vote. Nearly one in four black adults is disenfranchised. One out of 10 Floridians can no vote because of a mistake that we made in our past. The law does provide one way for former felons to get their voting rights back. But don't get your hopes up. First, you have to wait up to seven years after you finish your sentence before you can even apply. Then, you have to wait another 10 to 12 years. Why? Because there's a backlog of about 10,000 cases. Finally, as many as 20 years later, you get your big day in court. If your hearing was in front of Governor Rick Scott, you almost certainly heard this. I deny restoration of civil rights. I deny restoration of civil rights. So at this point, I'm going to deny restoration of civil rights. I deny restoration of civil rights. I deny restoration of civil rights. So it's all denied. Well, first off, thanks for your work for the state. Um, Thank you. At this point, I'm, I don't feel comfortable uh, giving your restoration of civil rights, but congratulations on, on your work and congratulations on your daughter. Thank you. The law gives the governor and his cabinet members the power to decide our fate, and there's no rules or guidelines. There's no... Um, right to clemency. There's no standards. The governor goes first. If I um, deny, then it's over. The governor can turn you away for any reason, no matter how petty. Just don't get traffic tickets all the time. I mean, I mean, that, it just says something. It says you're, you don't care about the law. And it's not just me. Governor Scott has denied way more people than his predecessors. In the last eight years, the number of disenfranchised citizens in Florida has increased by nearly 200,000 people. But wait. How did we even get here? The law is 150 years old and was designed to keep people that looked like me from voting. When the Civil War ended, freed slaves represented almost half of Florida's population. The state's all white lawmakers came up with a racist plan to prevent blacks from gaining power. They created black codes, not so subtly named laws that subjected black people to harsh sentences for minor offenses. They then barred anyone with a conviction from voting. They didn't even try to hide it. For the next 150 years, no one questioned the law. And now, here we are. But in November, this injustice can end. Florida voters will get to decide on a ballot referendum that would restore voting rights to felons who have done their time. Murderers and sex offenders are excluded. To pass Amendment 4, voters would need 60% or more in November. We are asking you to give over a million of your fellow citizens a second chance. Vote yes in November to restore our voting rights. Be our voice today so everyone invested in the future of Florida can help shape that future.